And Erica Enders resumes her position on top of the saddle. Took advantage of the downtime to get her cell phone and update Twitter and check on the Dodger game and say hi to Mark. And here comes Greg and Jay. The final pair in Mission Foods Pro Stock. Erica Enders, the third set down the track, put herself on the saddle. She has two more bullets to dodge if she wants the $7,500 and those corral boots. Those bullets have 11 Pro Stock World Championships split between them. They have collectively won almost 200 national events. Skag Power Equipment, Melly Performance, Outlaw, Mile High, Light Beer. That is Jake Coughlin Jr. Elite Motorsports car on the left side. Currently qualified way down to the number 11 spot. That's how much the ladder is shaking itself up this round. And Greg Anderson's been bumped to sixth. EntrantCars.com, Summit Racing Equipment, KB Titan Chevrolet. Six point five two six is the magic number. The six time reigning world champion and back to back defending Texas Fall Nats champion Erica Enders, the Texan, owns the top spot. Will she be evicted on the final run of Pro Stock? They both have a chance. Greg's got a good shot. Greg got there. 652, 4208, 99 by two thousandths of a second. Greg Anderson says, Hey, Double E, I hope you enjoyed the ride, but it's time to get off. Greg Anderson takes HendrickCars.com to the number one spot here on a Friday night. Joe. Here with Cody Anderson, final car, and you take over the saddle position. That's going to be worth $7,500. Tell me about that run. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is an awesome race. I'm so glad they do this. Uh, makes it really exciting for all of us racers, and uh, just proud of Dad. He's such a hard worker and deserves every bit of it. Go celebrate. For the record, Jay Coughlin Jr. goes 655 with a 4 at 210. Sixth best run of the session. Sixth best run of the event. It's going to be Greg Anderson, one. Erica Enders, David Quadra, and Aaron Stanfield. Dallas Glenn, Jake Coughlin Jr., Matt Hartford, and Fernando Quadra Jr. Those are the quick eight. Derek Kramer, Kenny Delco, and Derek Reese are the three cars on the outside looking in. Look at the grin from Greg Anderson. He's heading to the stage to take over the top spot. Amanda. I've never seen Erica Anders move so fast when she knew that she was uh, losing this position up here. Uh, and Greg, the battle for the saddle and pro stock is yours, and you get it on the very last run. Why did you know that you had the horse to get this one? Well, I knew that after the first run today, uh, Amanda. We, uh, we started off with a great run this morning. There was a little bit to clean up on it. Obviously, the racetrack got better, and uh, unfortunately for Eric Latino's wreck, we uh, probably got a little bit better weather than Erica had. She had to run first pair, and we're a good half hour later, so probably made a difference. 2,000s, so uh, I'll take it. It's as good as a mile. 2,000s is as good as a mile. Thank you, Billy Meyer. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, everybody at the Texas Motorplex. This is cool. This is awesome, and uh, not a real cowboy, but I can sure try for one night. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Greg's not wrong. That extra downtime probably did make a difference in the two thousandths of a second that he beat Erica Enders by to take the number one qualifying spot here on a Friday night, the 75.